Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jacob Wallace, ABC Window Cleaning Supply, and welcome to the first of what I hope will be many uh, product testing videos. So, let's dive right in. Today we are talking about hand ascenders. Now, hand ascenders are an awesome tool uh, to help you go up a rope, but uh, they should not be used as backup devices. Uh, you've probably heard that before, but I know a lot of window cleaners out there still swear by them as backup devices. So, we thought, let's take a look at what actually happens if you were to fall onto um, a hand ascender and you were using it as your backup device. So let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at how we're setting up this test. Now for the test, uh, we actually used a two foot rope dynamic lanyard. Of course, you might be using other things. Um, but that's what we did for the test. So let's imagine we've got you here and you're, you know, doing your work. You're very skinny and you've got the rope coming off of your device and it's coming to you, all right? So again, this is a two foot rope landing. And so you can see here, we're at a factor one fall, right? So you have, uh, where it's connected to you is level with the device. So when you fall, you're gonna fall a total of two feet, all right? So we did the drop test and we were at two feet. So let's take a look at what happened. All the results and I have to say uh, the hand ascender as a backup device performed a lot better than any of us thought it would um, but we did it again at a two foot fall the force that actually ended up being generated was right about 1400 pounds of force just a little bit more than that so we ended up with 1400 pounds now this is within acceptable limits uh, according to ANSI as long as you're on your back D-ring uh, but let's take a look at what would happen if you actually change the situation a little bit which is actually very common uh, from what we've seen in the photos of the window cleaning industry, for example. So let's say instead you are actually up here and you've connected the device up to yourself. All right, so now you've got a factor two fall, a four foot fall in this case. So you're gonna fall the length of the lanyard and then you're gonna fall that length again. So now you are up to a four foot fall. So let's take a look. Well, those results were more uh, in line what we, with what we were expecting. So we had the four foot fall on a two foot dynamic lane. Uh, and our results, as you saw, were TA, which of course stands for total annihilation. So it cut right through the sheath of the rope, ripped it off, uh, and it ended up stopping only because we had a stopper knot at the bottom and the rope bunched up. So if you just imagine at this point, you've fallen, uh, you've actually destroyed your backup rope, um, and if you get lucky enough and the sheath bunches up, then you're stopped, uh, but now the only rope you had that you could now descend on and rescue yourself is totally destroyed. Uh, so you're kind of out of luck. But the more likely scenario is probably that, um, that you're just gonna fall all the way to the ground. In either case, uh, it's probably not the greatest idea to have one of those. Now that being said, uh, we were surprised by how well the device performed. So if, um, if you have absolutely nothing else, and we're talking an emergency situation, not you planning ahead. Emergency situation, you've got nothing else. Uh, yeah, go ahead and use the uh, hand ascender, but we definitely would keep it under this two foot fall distance. Um, 
But I think we've just shown here, clearly uh, you should be planning ahead and not using your hand ascender as a backup device. There's lots of great backup devices out there, Pepsil ASF, ISC Rocker, uh, Camp Goblin, tons more. So check those out. Uh, thanks for watching. And let us know in the comments uh, what you thought uh, and any other testing you want to see.